Apple's next big innovation, Apple's self-healing iPhone, iPhone Fold. While this tech giant may seem to be delaying in the trend of foldable phones, it's coming with one big boost. Apple has applied for a patent on a bendable phone that also has self-healing display technology. Shattered iPhone screens have been a familiar sight ever since the dawn of touchscreens, and Apple's new self-healing technology could vanish this complaint into thin air. But this should be taken with a pinch of salt for now, as we're not sure how serious Apple is about this one. We will get into how the self-healing works and the possible pricing for this huge advancement later in the video. While Apple is barely in any hurry to bring new technology to the market, it does seem like Apple is spending time to carefully craft a design. After all, it needs to sell some quality products to maintain its $5 billion Apple Park. Comment down below if you want to visit it someday. I certainly do. In a new patent application, Apple has made it clear that the company is looking into the possibility of making and selling a new foldable phone. The name of the technology it is looking to patent is called Electronic Devices with Flexible Display Cover Layers. This electronic device in front of your face can send you notification of our latest videos, but first you'll have to subscribe. Apple's patent describes the mechanism that prevents one of the most significant issues with foldable displays. Scratching. This damage happens when dust and debris get caught in the folds and severely scratch the display. By solving this key problem, Apple aims to dominate the market with its first ever foldable phone. I see you there Apple. In the patent application, Apple refers to it as a foldable technology instead of bendable which means it will open and close vertically with admirable ease and smoothness of course. If you ever open the book, assuming you all have, you feel what I mean. The patent later mentioned that the device's screen cover may include a layer of elastomer protection, a material that can regain shape to keep the delicate internal parts of the device protected. This allows the device to repair problems regarding the upper screen which makes it less prone to scratches and dents and those that do occur would be less visible. You didn't expect that, did you? Elastomer layering typically requires an external force coming into play to set off the self-healing event. Generally, this comes in the form of heat, light or electric current, but it could also be any other external stimuli. Apple does not specify which he had in mind for his foldable phone, but in theory the self-healing process could activate automatically when the phone is being charged or taken out in the sun. This process of auto repair won't need the user to manually intervene, which Apple has cleverly realized is what it needs to do to win our extra cash. It is likely that the device must be folded when the repair is taking place, which is a little inconvenient, but we can deal with that. We'll get into why this is the case later in the video. Different approach to the healing process would be using special conductors, which will transfer heat generated in the device, perhaps the extra heat produced when charging, onto the coating in order to promote the repair. When internal heat is used as a stimulus for the self-healing process, the display cover will include some transparent conductors that will form a heating layer, which will generate heat to stimulate self-healing. The heating layer may generate heat in response to user input or according to a schedule or when the electronic device is charging. On the other hand, the self-healing may be initiated or expedited by externally applied heat, light, electric current or other type of external stimulus. It's not going to be very handy if you need some assistance, but let's expect Apple to give us a good solution. While Apple is coming up with a good solution, can you help us reach our outrageous goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020? We want you to be part of this great accomplishment because you, my friend, are worth more than the biggest companies out there. Apart from the self-healing properties, the patent said that the device may have a hinge that will allow it to be flexed from a bend axis. The patent then goes on to say that Apple could prevent the device from folding if the screen is too cold. To facilitate bending above the bend axis without damage when the display is cold, a portion of the display that overlaps the bend axis may be selectively heated. If successful, Apple could roll out the technology to all of its computers, iPhones, iPads and watches. 
The patent application states that Apple products may have an outermost layer formed from either clear glass, transparent plastic, sapphire or other transparent materials which will then serve as a protective layer for thin film transistor circuitry and other display structures of course. Could this mean that even the healing layer is protected by something else? So after all of this, what's the price? This is easily the toughest question to answer because the device's cost will largely depend on how Apple actually approaches the design. If Apple decides for a smaller and cheaper foldable, the phone's price may not be far away from premium handsets like the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the price of $1,099. However, if the foldable iPhone is intended as a phone that can become a tablet when needed, just like the Galaxy Fold, it's certainly possible that the price could well exceed those of Apple's more conventional smartphones. The self-healing tech could potentially make up an appearance in autumn 2021, but foldable iPhones are probably something to look forward to in 2022. Some pundits in fact have claimed that folding iPhone was at the prototype stage as early as June of this year. In theory, this concept makes the foldable screen cover more durable. Many tech companies such as Samsung make various styles of foldable phones, but Apple's purposed self-repair feature adds a unique touch to these devices.